Okay, one line classes. Now we discuss the uh, syllabus, <coughs> syllabus of the physics subject. So we have to understand the straight line. Okay, straight line. Motion. State language. So we have to understand here the state language. In the previous lecture, we have discussed the reference frame. After that, we have to discuss the relative velocity concept that is to be understood by us. In the previous discussions, we have to understand how the reference is to be selected and how we take in the simple instructions. So now we have to discuss. <coughs> Average speed. Now we have to discuss the average speed. What is the average speed? Average speed, we have to understand that average speed is the ratio of it is the Ratio of it is the ratio of total distance to total time. Total distance and total time. So, what is the formula for the average speed as far is equal to total distance. Total time. That is to be the average speed. That is to be total distance. That is to be d, and total time that is to be t. And we have to remember this formula. The average speed is equal to d by t. So what is the SI unit? We have to consider here. SI unit is meter per second. SI unit is meter per second. So we have to understand second point. The first point is the definitions. Here, simple the definition says to be it is the ratio of total distance to total time. This is the definition of the average speed. So here we see that what is the SI unit. It 
can instantaneous speed is equal to limit dt tends to zero limit delta t tends to zero delta s ये डेटा एक्स है दिस इज द बेसिक फॉर्मूला फॉर बार्च सिंपली हियर वी कैन से दैट एवरेज स्पीड बिकम्स टू द इंस्टेंटेनियस स्पीड व्हेन द टाइम इंटरवल इज वेरी स्मॉलर एंड हेंस इफ टाइम इज स्मॉल टाइम इज स्मॉल देन then average become instantaneous this is the important aspect so we have to remember that the average value becomes the instantaneous value when the time interval is so smaller so smaller then this is to be converted into instantaneous speeds that is the Major differences between if we are if we are drop the instantaneous time into very differential line, then if the differential time is very smaller as compared to a long period of time, then all the average speeds, all the average values, we have to convert it into the instantaneous values. So we have to learn average speeds here. After that, we have discussed. Average velocity and instantaneous velocities. These are the terminologies which is related to the basic terminologies. So we have to understand what is the difference between average speed, instantaneous speed, velocity, instantaneous velocity, distance, displacement, frame of reference. We understand these things because in all these chapters. there are three continuous chapters which is directly related to the this topics so we have to consider one by one as but the topic is coming so we have to now discuss only the average speed and the instantaneous speed and in the next lecture we have discuss velocity and instantaneous velocities and we have to understand what is the basic difference that is to be coming in the speed and velocity